What's up everybody? And this is my Pyramid Air Backyard Brawl video. So, I'm obviously going to be enter entering the entertainment section of this event. And boy do I got a show for you. Stay tuned. I've got five different types of slugs. All super hollow points filled with various concoctions. First up on the right is just a steel nail. This is actually the standard round from Lucky 7 Air Ammo. And this basically was the reason he made these in the first place. Get to focus. There we go. Next up, I stuffed a little bit of a gummy bear. Come on. Focus. There we go. A little bit of a gummy bear. These guys here to be precise. Haribo. Next up, I stuffed a little bit of a cowtail. Another candy. Next, I stuffed a little bit of a Sour Patch Kid. Lastly, this will probably be almost a grand finale or part of the grand finale. These are my incendiary rounds. I just covered the tip so the powder doesn't come out, but hopefully that'll go off on the steel targets. I'll probably be shooting about 10 yards. Not an incredible shot. That's not what I'm going for here. I'm just going to entertain you guys. So stay right. tuned. Guys, so first up, I think I'm going to shoot the cow tail. I gotta get a get better camera. There we go. The cow tail. Stuffed into a Lucky 7 TN Tom Ultra Hollow Point. Here we go. This, uh, this is out of a Benjamin Bulldog. Also keep in mind, no matter what I shoot at that poor ram, it's probably going to get destroyed from this gun. I'm just doing it for your entertainment. Oh, I just hope it makes it to the last round. Well, the first one, let's see the damage. <laughs> so this isn't a good sign, guys. First shot. Oh my word. Okay, so I'm probably going to do a change of plans. I'm probably going to shoot the, uh, the, um, the one with the nail in it next, just because I don't think this thing's going to make it all the way till when I was actually going to do it. Sheesh. As promised or mentioned earlier, I'm going to shoot these guys next, the ones with the nail in it, just to see if it punches through 1 8 inch steel. We still have the nicer sized target. This is also experimental. I have no idea if it'll punch through or not. But after seeing what just the hollow point did to that poor ram, I'm pretty uh, optimistic. So here we go. These are called, I think, the Sniper X7. Might be mistaken by the name. But I'll be sure to put Lucky 7's site in the description. Here we go. See the damage. Okay, guys, it actually took me a minute to find this thing. You probably saw on the high speed just how far it flew. Here we go. Oh, it almost almost penetrated 1 8 inch thick mild steel. That's actually crazy. 
Uh, I think this guy actually sent these rounds to another influencer too, who had like level 2A body armor, and it went right through. So these rounds are no joke. Lucky 7 air ammo again. There will be available in about maybe three weeks-ish, I'd say. Maybe two by the time I upload this video. So, I mean, you can actually see. Let's see if I can show you. You can actually see a little bit of daylight. So we got some of the nail through the round. So congratulations, Lucky7. You've probably made the closest thing to an armor-piercing air gun round. History. All right, guys, that was truly impressive, but we're not done yet. Next up, I'm going to be shooting the Sour Patch Kid loaded hollow point because they're going to be sour, sweet, and gone. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I couldn't resist. Alrighty, let's see what this one did. So, yeah, definitely hit point of impact there, but oddly enough, there's a little bit of the Sour Patch Kid's guts on the back of it. I don't know how that happened exactly. Maybe the high speed will explain a little more. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. You can see little bits of remains from here. Cow Tongue did not do this. That was pretty cool. Alright guys, next up, just a couple more left, I'm going to be shooting the same hollow point again, this time I've loaded the uh, Haribo gummy bear. Not a full gummy bear obviously, but I got some of it in there. By the way, it should be noted, this might be history here, because I may be the first person ever shooting, or at least recording, shooting candy out of an air gun. You're totally experimental. Ooh, you know, it almost looked like something was in the back of me. Not sure what. It didn't look like a lead projectile. Maybe a chunk of wood. Let's see. Ever, I think on the page I actually couldn't find where that target landed even though I caught it on camera it's somewhere in the brush or at the border of my property so I'm not gonna spend much more looking for it the results are probably the same as the Sour Patch Kid so without further ado the last but certainly not least of the rounds this is the explosive I've like to call them white tips and you might notice that black thing right behind the target. That is actually a level 3.8 plate. And that's just in case I miss so I still catch the explosion on camera for you guys. Because it is a tiny target and I've only made one. I actually burned myself pretty bad making smaller rounds of these. And I haven't fully recovered yet, so I have been a little careful. But you know, the skin's not at its peak hardness just yet. Here we go. This is the most explosive I've ever fired. So, I don't know if you guys heard that, but I heard little fragments of something landing after that shot. I'm pretty sure the bullet completely exploded. Or slug. I definitely smell pyrotechnical fuel. Okay guys, so I think I found the round. It was about maybe a yard or two away from where it was back that way. So here we go. Looks like I got him on the leg. This way. And again, I think I'll just do this on one shot to make it easier. That was 
Look at all the marks. That's like pure shrapnel right there. That's pretty cool. And just to be certain, this is a totally clean plate except for this one hole that I did an earlier test on. So all of this is no, just from that one shot. Truly amazing. I'm thinking uh, after that, I'm thinking of calling these my quarter stick rounds. All right guys, so just a quick retake. This is the grand finale. I'm shooting four rounds of full auto from the Hot Sun Blitz in Incendiary. So yes, these are explosive rounds. Try to get the gun in me at the same time. Here we go. May as well unchamber the mag. Safety's on. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, so just a quick review. I'm pretty sure I actually missed most of the targets for that last segment. Keep in mind it is a full auto air gun and they are slugs at slow velocity. So they're not gonna be that accurate, even at 10 yards. So let's just take that out. You can see though, evidence that abnormal pellets were set off here. That's part of one of the hybrid slugs, I think. Uh, it's a really pulley. <laughs> there he is. You see little bits of lead, like you can see some here. Right in there next to the Roy Poli. Right there. I hope you enjoyed all this here in midair. Again, thank you for this opportunity. And uh, shout out to Air Venturi for helping to make this possible with their silhouette targets. I hope everyone enjoyed. I certainly did. This is honestly what I do to have fun, as you'll find on the page. So, thanks, and bye-bye.